Hello, I'm the Resident Cartographer, and this is the 122nd video in my Fallout 76 Surveil series. Here we are at the Kanawha County Cemetery, and this is actually just one half of the cemetery here. This church, the cemetery itself, is all over there. But the uh, church is where things have mostly changed, uh, and there's also something we're going to need up there before we go to the cemetery, so we're going to take a look up there first. Now, this is the second time that I've been here. The first time was before the Wastelanders uh, material came out. And so this was before this was taken over as a uh, cultist location. As you can clearly see, it is definitely now a cultist location. Um, take a quick look around here down at the exterior. I've already killed all the cultists here. You can see they got an effigy here. If we come back around this way, we can go inside. More effigies. They've also got their little spotlight set up here to give this thing some light at night. Let's head up in here. All right, now... <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of did a stupid thing here. All the cultists were grouped up right around the front altar here, so I started just chucking grenades in. And it managed to kill all of them, but I also dis disrupted the whole scene in here. I uh, just know that all these skeletons were sitting on benches next to these uh, drinking glasses with their, uh, I'm assuming, Bibles right here. Along with that, up here at the front, you can still see this picture here. But you can tell there's some rat poison and some drinking glasses, so there was a mass suicide that took place here, uh, presumably on the day of the bombs, if not maybe sometime after that. Now the uh, Mothman came in, they built this giant effigy here, and they've been doing their little uh, ceremonies here ever since then. You'll typically find them either like lounging around in here, or kind of out patrolling the area. Uh, I found them both ways though in the past. Uh, coming up here we have a sermon. Let's read this. Or sermon notes at least. Listen, my followers, I call you not believers, but followers, for we no longer are believers, but followers in these new beginnings. Open your eyes, open your ears, open your hearts. Have you not heard from all the new inhabitants of Appalachia? The sightings are real, the encounters are true. We offer the gift of the woods. As we build and expand, we will grow closer to him, away from the plights of man. Look above, we will grow, grow out to him. He is out there, he will come, and we will be there. Okay, so again, Mothman cultists, they're calling for the Mothman to come down. They want to meet him. Alright, let's head up this way. And this was here before as well, for the most part, this effigy here, and along with that, what I'm presuming was the priest or something like that, impaled on this spike. Now, if we come over here to this desk, there's a new note here. Uh, this letter. Roland, the group has returned to the Kanawha Church in search of Dr. Wallace. We believe the mausoleum in the graveyard contains his remains. He is a famous entomologist who might hold the answers to all our questions. We have been unsuccessful in finding his thesis paper he wrote while studying the moths in the region. It is possible it might be buried with his belongings. I know it's a long shot, but it might be the key. I would like you to come to one of our sermons and check out the church. We also have a stash of eggs on the premises. We have been hoarding them and bringing them up to the church, hoping he will come. Having you as a guest will really help expand our reach. Okay, and there's also a Kanawa mausoleum key right next to it, so I'm going to grab that. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the rest of the church, and then we'll head out to the graveyard. Okay, we'll head up this new ramp here. Climb these new stairs. And you can see there's some ammunition, pastures of estimates, a gun there. We can come out here onto their little ledge here, and you can get a really good look at the cemetery down there. If we come back over this way, we can also then drop down into this back down the steeple and there's the steamer trunk for the location also a uh, toolbox with some junk we'll head back up man these are really steep stairs anyway uh, and then I'm gonna jump down the side of this thing as carefully as I can okay and there we go all right now there are a few structures out here in the actual cemetery itself along with that a few of the graves are decorated with a few things one little note I would have for Bethesda if they do end up watching this, please come up with a, a new gravestone uh, texture. Most of these are basically blank, but some of them still have like text on them that indicate that uh, the grave was dug back in the 17th century because they're the same grave that they used in uh, Fallout 4 for Boston. I, I think this is one where if you look close enough you can see something about it being uh, from the 17th century. Along with that, there's a weird texture issue with some of these tombstones at the top where you can tell that they left the, t the texture semi-transparent. We'll probably see one at some point here. Yeah, there's one right there. Where the top of the tombstone is transparent and you can see through it. So I hope they fix that at some point. Anyway, 
Uh, in terms of the plants, I never even mentioned the plants. So you can find fire caps like this, glowing fungus. Along with that, there are soot flowers, rhododendron, starlight creepers. Uh, there are uh, logs, wood piles, and also mothman eggs. Those last three, obviously not really plants, but uh, collectible nodes anyway. Yeah, there's a log right there. Uh, we'll take a quick look here at this little structure out here. And there's a good amount of junk in here, including five bags of cement. So always a good place to come if you're looking for cement. Uh, enemies, I should have mentioned this, but it's pretty obvious. Cultists. <laughs> okay. There's some of the soot flowers there. There's another fire cap. This is actually a pretty rich location in fire caps. Okay, let's see. Here's the mausoleum. All right, let's head around here. You can open up the door with that key. If you don't have the key, you can't get in here. But within, there's not really too much to see. We got some wood pile, like a wood pile, maybe two. Let's see. Nope, just the one. Uh, along with that, we've got this cooking station, some some more junk, and a couple of little boxes of stuff. So yeah, not too much to see there. No thesis paper that might help them draw on the Mothman. If we do come over here, though, there is another effigy to the Mothman and some Mothman eggs. Now, they said that they brought these up to the church, but clearly they're out here, too. The strange thing is the number of bones out here. It's almost like they're maybe performing sacrifices here. I don't know. Or maybe that's what the Mothman eats and then leaves behind. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we'll come out this way. And we're going to take a look at the last uh, structure here. And it's actually the gatehouse. Yeah, see, again... Oh, can I... Yeah, it's difficult to read. I, I really had to spend some time looking at one of these things last time. Anyway, right over here, gatehouse. There's a safe right there. And along with that, you've just got some good junk sitting around here. All right, and I think that really should just about do it. Let me check my notes real quick. Uh, uh, one more thing, and I will actually bring you back up to the church so we can see it. All right, here we are. The last thing... I should have mentioned it when I was up here, but I was just talking about how I blew all the skeletons around. If you check on this bench, there's there's a uh, basket full of caps. This is like their collection plate, but for some reason they were collecting caps. Along with that, I've not been able to access any of these caps before, which tells me that the grenades were actually necessary to blow them out of uh, whatever little invisible wall they were... Because the basket itself cannot move. So the grenades must have dislodged the caps so that I could actually collect them. Anyway, though, I think that really gives you a good look at what this place is, what it's become. If you're interested in the way it was before, I will, of course, link that video at the end of this video. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.